Okay, collective. My reading cut off, so I'm gonna pick right back up from it. Uh, we you know that reading that had a, uh, you know, the emperor, the king, the pinnacles, and removing them burdens. Okay, stab in the back. Stabbed in the back by this Taurus. Okay. Taurus is getting karma. That's why it was like karma. Taurus. Remember, Taurus was sideways on karma. They stabbed you in the back, tried to get people against you, and uh, they've been waiting on you to come to them. Why? Why would you do that? That would be so dumb to go back to this person that fucking did this to you. They're getting their karma, and it's killing them at the moment. That's the fucking issue. That's the problem for them. They're waiting on you to come to them to give this uh, emperor an opportunity. And you're like, no, I have this. I don't need a fucking emperor. I have a good man that provides for me and is stable, and I don't want you in my fucking life. That's what you're saying. I, I removed that, and I do not fucking want it back because, you know. Hang on a minute. This was the other part, so you'll remember the damn story. Remember, and uh, you chose to move away from all this competition. These, these people that was causing strife in your fucking marriage and relationship, they was uh, telling everybody you was this, that, and the other. But why do you see a man and a woman and a baby going off? Well, because maybe you you had to move on, you and your partner, to have a uh, happiness. You know, and this is a chorus. This is a chorus and Leo energy. You know, and. This is my energy. I am an Aquarius, and my north node is Leo. So, uh, you know, you had to uh, move away and learn how to become balanced and have empathy and not worry about things that freedom or loss or a change. And, and that's what I did, and that is what brought happiness back to my marriage because I wasn't worried about that fucking job I lost. Are you listening? All my readings, that goes back and pertains to that from the beginning of when I started this is about your uh, your your marriage is happy and uh, you you celebrate with your partner your wish fulfillment you know your wishes is getting ready to come true and you 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 feel content because they're already coming true you feel satisfied and your partner loves you and they're 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 wishing like you that you're all going to have a luxurious lifestyle and you're going to have to stand up and defend this all over again because you know maybe your twin flame is like. Me and my old man, and it's all about, uh, you know, standing up and uh, regaining control over your life and, and mastering your life, you know. And uh, you got to let out all these secrets, you know, and myths. This was a myth, a lie, you know. They lied. They went around telling secrets, or maybe you did. Maybe you told secrets in your marriage, and, you know, you told your partner about it, and you had a, you had to have a lot of strength and compassion to uh, get through all this suffering that you, you had to go through with this. Uh, it could have been a Aquarius, a Leo, a Aries, a Pisces. Uh, that's all the signs I got right there. Or a Scorpio. Okay? All right, so I hope that helps you guys. I love you and I appreciate you all. And I thank you. I said I like you. I love you. Yes, I do. I said I like it. I said I love you. I said I like you. I said I like you. Okay, um, I was going to do these new cards. Let me get out one of them and then I'll uh, see what this person that's in that institution or religious group or cult what it wants to say i'll use my cards and see if we can pick up something different <laughs> play your cards right you're making strategic moves at the moment you're thinking smarter and not harder you know how to act right you execute a well thought out plan you learn to don't be in such a rush you start behaving wisely in order to achieve your desired result you are far too smart to fall for any bullshit. Let them play someone else for a fool. <laughs> this is what you did to this person that thought they was an emperor. And they all they did is lie and betray you. No, that's that's not a true emperor, whoever that is. Nah, they wish they had my fucking old man's balls in, in love like he has. Oh, no filters. People aren't all that they post to be. Virtual versus reality. It's pointless to compare your beautifully imperfect real-life self to someone else's. 
to someone's online filtered controlled content. You are perfect just as you are. There's no need to alter your appearance. Just to look like everyone else, being genuine speaks for itself. <laughs> so uh, you're saying, uh, fuck social media. I'm done in real life. I'm dope in real life. <laughs> so somebody, um, you're playing your cards right, and they, you're real with everybody that you come in contact with. You know how to behave. And these people, it tries to compare their life to yours. Well, you know that they're not healed. That's what that means. And uh, you're somebody that doesn't believe in altering your appearance. No, I don't. See, look. And I like it. Love it. Yes, I do. See, I don't alter my appearance. No, uh -uh. I'm 41, and I know I look good. I know I do, and I thank you for that spirit. I, I thank you for that spirit. I don't believe in filters. Oh, and, and not your puppet. <laughs> Cut them off. Karmic ties. Clear your etheric cords. A situation or a person no longer deserves your time, energy, and attention. Detach yourself from any memories of people holding you under their influence or anyone who doesn't have your best interest at heart. You need to cut that tie with that spiritual person, whoever it is. Uh, that could be your twin, Ray. I'm telling you right now, I know what in the hell I'm talking about. That's the energy that I pulled out, and it's liable to pull out here in a minute in my cards. But I'm telling you right now, you need to cut off your feelings for whoever this person is that done you all wrong, I don't know. And it, it was somebody that liked to live in traditions and uh, single you out, and uh, they was playing you. They was playing you. And there's no, uh, there's, they was playing you because you didn't have filters on your uh, videos. They, they didn't like that you didn't uh, try to be somebody else because you're not somebody's puppet. <laughs> They can't puppeteer you around. Fuck you, bitches. You can't puppeteer me. Till death do us part. Ride or die. This is me and my old man. Did you see a shit? Yeah, me and my old man, we're ride or die. We're very loyal. Um, somebody's going to receive a surprise proposal in my collective marriage material. If you're in a relationship, prepare for it to be taken to the next level. As this person can't imagine their life without you in it. And, I, and to all the single people, get ready. You're about to meet the one a lot sooner than you think. So you're not nobody's puppets. Somebody loves you out here in my collective. Somebody loves you collective. And uh, they're wanting to marry you. And they're wanting you to cut strings with this narcissist in your life. That has no filter over what they say about you. And they're, you're playing your cards right at the moment. So we have one or two more. Okay, one more. Should have, could have, would have. Can't change the past. It is what it is. Keep it pushing. Let go of the past and what you thought should have happened and focus all your attention on what's happening right now. Just because things could have been different doesn't mean that they would have been better. Trust that every decision you made was the right one for you. <laughs> See, you're uh, <laughs> you're telling people you're, you ain't nobody's puppet on a string in your marriage. And I'm not. Me and my partner does the shit equally. This is for somebody else. You need to stop worrying about... You need to cut your damn emotions off. You need to cut the ethereal cords off for this person that you keep going back to in your mind. It keeps replaying over and over. Well, maybe should have I did this or should have I did that. Should have, could have, would have. Don't. Don't, don't do that because it's messing up your uh, success. Impermanence. Big life change. This too shall pass. Law of detachment. Everything is temporary. Nothing is permanent. Learn to go with the ebb and flow of life for something that appears stable and permanent is about to change. Change is the only constant, so be open to it and try to not be too attached to anything. So, uh, so you have went through a lot of big life changes. Uh, and you might be, whoever this is, you might be getting a divorce in my collective. Uh, that's what it's sounding like to me. You're saying, don't care, don't care, don't take it personal. It says, despite how often peaceful and loving you can be, people can only meet you as deeply as they've met their selves. And how they treat you is just a reflection of the type of relationship they have with their self. Be immune to the opinions and actions of others so you don't become a victim of needless suffering. It said, be immune to to the opinions and actions of others so you don't become a victim of needless suffering. So don't 
don't suffer about what others think about your opinion. And and I I, I can honestly tell you, that shit used to bother me, but it don't. I'm not, I'm not trying to make my point anymore to people that doesn't even, you know, because that's to each his own. <laughs> uh, you know, this is about dis different perspectives, personal taste, agree to disagree, accept and allow others to be who they are and not who you want them to be. Let go of any desires to change anyone or control the way they do things and let them live their lives in their own way. See, that's what you started doing. That's what you started doing. Oh, guys, and, and Spirit loves you, you all, and, and they thank you. <coughs> Let me see what pulls out. Okay, we got Talon. Every magic item in your possession disintegrates immediately. Somebody's trying to light a fire to what you're building. That's what it's doing. Because they know that you got the key to a lot of wisdom. Uh, you're gaining a rare magic weapon with which you are proficient. Oh, wow. Spirit's giving this to you. You, uh, uh, It could be a crow. Uh, you, 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 you got the key to understanding crows talk. And you know, you all, 1125, I actually did hear a crow talking in the springtime and I know what the fuck it said. It was crazy. I'm, I'm in tune with my animals and my husband's like, how does that dog know it's what you're saying? I said, cause it's my dog. I know. <laughs> I know it's what it means. You know what? What else, spirit? Revenant. Resurrect one dead character. One aspect of their personality is permanently changed. See what it is? It's always people. You know, that, this reminds me of that five of wands energy. You remember earlier at fight and conflict. Uh, these people, uh, if you're doing a spiritual practice like me, um, they are trying to make, they're trying to burn down your practice. They're, they're burning your name down. Because you have a lot of wisdom. You got the keys to a lot of the shit that they've never had. And, and, and they're wondering if they can permanently change your personality. No, you can't. Till death do us part, you can't. Didn't y'all know that? Oh, and then we got Harpy. They wanted to kidnap you. Whoever this person is, uh... Whatever you're voicing about, whoever this is that tried to kidnap you or steal you or rape you or take you out, whoever that person is that did that, one, one, their personality is, is totally changed now. It's permanently changed because, um, uh, a deity of the divine masculine's choice demands you complete a trial of its choosing. So, uh, all this fighting was going on because Divine Masculine, it was a trial, a trial and tribulation to see if you still had a covenant with him. Are you listening? That's all that it was. And Orchard, you all go way long back. Uh, you, it says you gain the seed of a fruit tree. If you plant it, it grows to fruition in seven days. Unless the tree is chopped down, it provides unlimited food and sustenance forever. So, I mean, you made a covenant. You... Your partner's going to take care of you forever. And somebody was mad about that. They was mad about it. But you're getting a magical steed. Choose from among the following. A bear, an elk, a stallion, a rhino, a sloth, or a wolf. I think they was trying to destroy you. See how it says destroyer? Destroyer. That's what it is. They was trying to destroy. They was trying to destroy your family tree oh wow and i love you spirit they was trying to destroy your family tree they was trying to kidnap this woman in this marriage and make her be trapped up like in a box are you listening away from her love they tr they was because they was trying to destroy this relation totally because you didn't pay no attention now you can believe me or not but that's what the fuck it's saying. And Burke and Wolves, uh, your 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 party is hunted by a pack of sixteen wolves. They put somebody to follow you all the time, see? See? And they put somebody to follow you. And what's the outcome of spirit? Uh 
these people that did this, what what's the outcome, Spirit? All oh, phantom. This is what Spirit's doing to them. They sent this to you. This car comes alive as an unkillable, implacable specter. It follows you wherever you go and may pass through walls in order to do so. They, they've put 16 things to chase you, to come through the walls and spy on you. Because you're destroying their asses in, uh, uh, in whatever it is that you're doing. You're destroying them with your troops. <laughs> you're destroying them with your troops. Ain't that funny? It's funny as frick. And somebody serves you loyally. That's, that's your partner, maybe. To death. Spirit, I love you. Do you all love spirit like me? Let's see what this is. Collective. Oh, wow. It says your deepest desires constrain you. Let them go to clear your mind. Let go of that person that you desired at one time because they don't love you. If they loved you, Collective, they would speak it. it to, they would speak to you. They wouldn't hold on to that. Awaken the magic of your creativity. Immerse yourself in the world of feelings. So, you know, you're somebody that can share your feelings with others and Spirit loves you for that. Spirit said you're like a little golden koi fist is coming around your face like you're in the water of your creativeness at the moment. Maybe you're using water element and earth element to help you. Oh, and you're rising above the, the dark days of life. Do not fight them, but have faith that the light will always return. Number 13. Oh, yeah. So you have faith in something that will return. And maybe you're using a 369 manifestation uh, way. Allow, feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You're not alone. I love you, ancestors. This is the prettiest down card I ever seen. Look how beautiful. Isn't that so beautiful? I love it, spirit. You're rising above on dark days because your ancestors help you. Feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. Your ancestors is on their eyes. Look what this ancestor's doing. Look. She's blowing something over her. Like you, all I gotta do is make a wish and go, and 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 you, you're you're gonna have something creep you and follow you around like a phantom for doing this to my loved one. That's this is what my uh, spirit guides are saying to you. It's trying to do that to me. Just let you know that's that's what spirit guides said. Okay, you guys. Let's see. What's something that uh, somebody wants to say today, Spirit? You proved this person wrong, these people wrong. They're seeing just how ignorant that they look now, too. They're like, crooked face. Little crooked face smiles. <laughs> and Archangel Raphael was a patron saint of healing the sick and ill people, as well as an angel for all healthcare workers. You help to heal people's minds, spirits, and bodies so they can be peaceful. Oh, you're proving these people wrong that you know how to do it. Huh? So they're going to have to accept you in a community whether they want to or not. Because they know that you and your partner has the ability and potential to change the entire world. Because these people didn't understand that maybe you got a past over kid like I do helping you. You know, and I'm thankful for that, God. Oh, wow. And an arrow can only be shot by pulling it backwards. When life is dragging you back with difficulties, just imagine that it's going to launch you into something great for you. Oh, yeah. That's what's getting ready to happen, baby. It's coming to you. This arrow of love has shot your partner in your eyes, and people knows it, and somebody wants to tell you how special you are, and thank you for all the help you've given to them. Oh, wow. See, your partner loves you, and he does tell you thank you. He appreciates you. Whoops, something fell out down here. Hang on. Oh, wow. And supernatural forces up, uh, push and pull divine masculine to divine feminine with sudden revelations of days of old with drums of beating. I see you, divine feminine, and we're together having a meeting, loving and kissing with our greeting. Oh, that's a poem by me, Pamela. Oh, gosh, he loves you for writing all these little poems. He knows that you're something special. And and he and Divine Mask wants to feed you some strawberries and put whipped cream all over that body and taste you over and over until the morning hours. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle. 
See, he loves you so big. And whoever this person is that you proved her wrong, how ignorant that they are, they are mad. And th this woman is is uh, trying to block your readings for going around in the public. And you know who it is that's doing this shit, too. This ignorant-looking woman in Tyro land, whoever she is, or your neighbor in real life, whoever the fuck it is, you all. Whoever's doing this to you all, you're proving her how stupid they look because you're still in your relationship. Because you're bringing awareness to the way the brain works on the inside, and, and they don't understand. And, oh, Halloween, come out again, collective. Something's happening at Halloween. Give me a comment and a like today. I love y'all. So at Halloween, your partner's coming to you all collective. It said it. How many times am I collective? And in the moonlight, they're going out and calling for the divine to bring to you, to bring to him their love from the beginning of time. See, they're going out and calling for you now. At Arrow, you've pulled it backwards. Cupid has shot them in the ice. Cupid shot them in the ice, and they know that if you ain't got a mission in life, that you'll always be a narcissist because they have no peace of mind. And they love it that you talk of this, and, and, and you're bringing awareness to how fucking narcissists and people do. They love you so much, and they just want to kiss you. Oh, God. And they said you're so highly respected and adored, and you've helped to make others realize how to remember where they come from. Oh, and your heart is so big, and it's positive, and they love you. And they said you're positively delicious now. And they said we fucking love you. And let's get this going, Divine Feeling. And I'm tired of being pushed to the back of the down line out here. Now, whoever this is for collective, they're getting tired of being pushed to the back of the line. They're coming to the front. And, you know, kind words are like honey. They're sweet to the soul. Oh, I love that spirit. I love, do y'all love my pretty cards? I do too. I love my spirit. Oh, wow. What else do we need to know, spirit? Hang on, y'all. I was trying to fix my cards. Hey, I think they're right now. Well, one fail. Oh, a past life relationship. You've known each other before. So maybe uh, this past life karmic is a narcissist and you, you might be in, wanting to get away from it. Or this is a soulmate. But maybe you're a person that teaches lessons to all these players. And it's funny when the players get played by a woman. So whoever this is from your past that's wanting to creep back in, they want you to be their puppet on a string because you was giving them all your good energy. Because you, you had the key to good energy, and they know that. They know that, and they want it to steal all your happy and your good vibes. That's all that it is, Collective. I'm telling you right now. They're trying to strategize how to uh, make their next move towards you, uh, with you. This person you already proved wrong, though. Be smart and wise with the money you get because tough times always hit. So remember to not overspend. Yeah, collective. Remember to not overspend, all right? But it says on the bottom, the outcome of this situation is going to be in your favor. So if you're wanting to be with this divine masculine, he's a coming now. He's a coming collective. He's a coming for somebody out here now, bye boys. And I know what I mean. And I know what I said. And I know what I seen. Let me, let me get you one of these or two. Now, remember to watch that first video. Oh, purifying. It's about purging and healing and cleaning your energy. So, when, when you're done doing readings collective, you always need to remember to clean that energy. And especially from a, a Pice Life Cormac, you know. And a lot of people think because you're married that your your karmic is your husband. And no, uh, uh no, I don't have to be. That could have been somebody you was married to in a past life, and they followed you here. Uh, something about grief, sorrow, and pain. You need to heal all that loss energy and cut it out because it's keeping you trapped and tied down and captive in your own head. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is now. Collective now. And you're going to receive karma. This is, you know, cause and effect. Destiny. Hang on. 
What else, spirit? Vows. This is about your commitment and promises. Fidelity. So, I mean, uh, harmony. Peace, balance, friendship. So, you have, you and your partner are balanced. You have a great friendship. Your all's commitment has might have been tested a lot, you know, and you was feeling crazy like because that was your karma. That was your karma to have to feel trapped up in your head over all this light, loss. And now, that's why Spirit says purify it shit. You you have a commitment. You all are you all are uh committed. You're committed. Don't don't be don't be stuck over uh, in grief and sorrow and pain of what hurts you, you know, and feminines, divine feminine energy. Don't be stuck in things. Vow to feminine. I wish divine mask an old limit. Final straw, overload, breaking point. Yeah, because it's going to push you to a breaking point now, divine feminine. You've had your final straw with this bullshit now. You keep clinging now. You need to. You've been holding on and obsessing and watching. Somebody is obsessively watching you. They're obsessively watching you, uh, divine feminine. They're wanting you to blow up. They're holding on to obsessively watching you. Oh, judgment is coming. This is a wide open wake up call. They're they're uh, they're they're having a life review. Mirror, reflection, shared feelings, you. So, uh, you share feelings with this person, and you're going to have to, uh, you, you just need to, uh, take a cord and cut the fucking cord, or you need to go talk to that person. You need to go talk to that person and, and purify that energy, is because. You just need to do that, okay? This is your spiritual connection. This is a deep love, soulmate unity. You all mirror each other. You're all going through a life review, you know it. And you're all very loyal. You're dedicated. You trust each other. You trust your masculine. You know that he just got sidetracked. He got sidetracked. But you're so damn beautiful. He says your beauty is so stunning. He loves you. He loves you, divine feminine. Now, that's what he said now. Let me give you one of mine, and then that's all I'm going to read today, collective. And I hope this helps you out here. These are my angels. And nobody has permission to copy my angel cards. None of my cards. Thank you. Hope you understand why I put a lot of work and time into my shit, and, uh, and that's, it's mine, okay? Y'all gotta make your eyes on like I did. But, your angels gave you the gift of compassion. You always show love, warmth, and kindness to all people you meet. That's why God will reward you on earth. See, God's getting ready to reward you. Because, uh, you're teaching people how to clean their energy. Oh, it's 16. 16, you're focused on your life and your family and your house. The presence of unrequited love in your life. You chose the willpower and determination that you needed to, uh, to, uh, you're, you're needed to, to pay, uh, have the willpower and determination that you need to mend that broken relationship or cut it, cut it. And strengthen existing ones in your life. A new beginning of love, excellence of God. If you see 1616, 16, that's what it means. <coughs> I don't. It said, you are aligned with universe, with the universe's energy and ready to receive blessings, miracles, and good fortune. And you're going to be happy and wise. This is an energetic upgrade is coming. You're you're evolving spiritually and you're in tune with your life purpose. You're very you you're, you got a lot of wisdom and you're very intelligent. So you might see seven 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 a lot. Okay, so you so your family, you and your family are aligned for the universe's blessings. So get ready to receive them. 
And your angels gave you the gift to actually sense or smell death on people and even your animals around you. You're very sensitive and in tune with yourself and with the universe, too. Yeah, I have this. That's why I wrote it. These are my angel gifts, okay? And nobody's going to write a deck that says angel gifts. No, you're not, because that's mine. That's mine, and nobody's stealing it. Oh, and your angels gave you the gift of talking to your past over loved ones. They will warn you when danger is coming towards you or when good is coming into your life. And I thank you, Spirit. You always do that. And what now? right now what it's saying is there's a danger warning you're sensing. This is about to make me cry. You're sensing that you needed to show compassion to somebody in your family because uh, you're spiritually evolving and you knew that you needed strength in this relationship because you sensed that they were going to die. And it's telling you, your past over loved ones are telling you that pay attention to the universe right now because your angels gave you this gift to be a light worker for all of humanity. You're meant to show other people how to get in line with their true calling. See, the angels is warning you something's getting ready to happen to somebody out here. And your angels gave you a gift to remember your past lives all the way back to Bible days. You've lived a many lives before. You and your, you and your past life soulmate, I told you. And uh, remember, this is your spiritual connection. Uh, you're all in love with each other. This is a deep love. And, 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 and the angels give you the gift of faith. And someone who's strong in their faith will receive other gifts from God. Because if you have no faith, then there will be no special gifts given. Keep the faith. Oh, and I love you, God. And I thank you so very much. And your angels give you the gift of positivity. If you're around negative people, eventually you can teach them by being positive. You can and will reap many, many rewards. Many rewards is coming to you, my dear. Because you can tell, you you know how to tell people when danger, danger's coming or death. And angels are supporting, supporting and surrounding you at the moment. They're protecting you. This is deep tranquility, love, and peace. A sign of abundance is coming and peace and happiness. Um, begin a new project on the right path towards your dreams. Uh, you got to leave your comfort zone. And that's what you did. And Spirit said they love you for that. Spirit said now they love you for that. And your angels gave you a gift to help heal people with diseases. To be of comfort and feel love. To help make them stronger to fight it. You got big muscles. You help people fight their diseases. And what Spirit's saying is you sniffed out that you sniffed out that your past over loved ones is trying to warn you that you needed to help this person to become stronger and fight this disease. That's your true calling. You're somebody that had you had healing hands back in the old days. Oh, I love you, Spirit. Your angels bless you when I made your hands to heal many. Your hands are a treasure to many people. They work miracles in others' lives. And that's what God wanted to tell you right there. Oh, and 333 come out and it said, Encouragement and assistance, new collaborations and partnerships for Twin Flames. You are meant to be together in love. Your relationship is growing. You and your partner will flourish together. Your energy vibes match and you're very intuitive. I love you, Spirit. So, if you've been seeing 12, 12, 3, 3, 3, 7, 7, 7, or 16, 16, it's warning you of danger. It's telling you to sniff out this danger. It's trying to warn you about it, all right? If you're an air sign, especially, because I see them balloons. <coughs> if you're an air sign and an earth sign, it's telling you keep the faith. And I love you, Spirit. That's me and my partner's energy, and I thank you. Keep the faith. In your relationship, the universe is bringing you something uh, for your being grateful to have the universe and teaching others things and showing them that you can get through anything. All right. Well, I love y'all collective. I hope this helps you all today out there. Yeah, I hope it helps somebody out here. I already did do them, didn't I? Let me get these little ones. What's one of these messages? Oh, it says the dolphin caller. Pure, joyful friendships. Loving help. Number 15. Maybe uh, you can understand dolphins if you live next to the 
to the ocean. Uh, maybe the dolphins are lead it, warning you about some fairy energy. Growth, expansion, a flowering. Look how pretty that is. Fairies is putting light into your body at the moment. See it beaming down. Maybe somebody thinks that you're a guardian angel, but you're growing at the moment. Your 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 friendships are growing at the moment. The secret of Camelot, the authority of spirit. You have the authority of spirit to to help others. That's what it's saying. Look how beautiful I love this card, spirit. It's the most beautiful I ever saw. The most beautiful I ever saw. Oh, wow. And then it says the secret, the unknown mysteries, wonders. You, you, people are learning a lot of secrets maybe from you at the moment. You, but this is talking about the unknown, going into the unknown, you know, because this is your pathway. This is your purpose. You, you had to change for this purpose of yours. Because the mother awakened inside of you and you learned how to give compassion, you know, and nurturing and guidance. Because this is the path of the gods. This is decisions, meetings, future plans. You and your person are a god, like me and my person. And that's why me and him are able to talk to the public. And he's in a job at the moment, you all, and he can't get out of it. But I know one thing, as soon as he can get out of it, he will. I know that he will, okay? Because uh, he, he loves me and I love him so much. And uh, oh, right here's why. You are the path of the gods. You are gods and you're healing the earth at the moment. This is about love, humility, and having respect for all of mankind. And I love you, God, and I thank you I have that. You're all going to be returning home. This is about a transition, a life between lifetimes, a loving welcome. Somebody's getting ready to pass away, and they're going, to, and it's okay. Spirit's telling you that this hidden world, um, they give you this perception right now, so you would understand that this hidden world is is floating around this real world at the moment, and. And you're going to have to be a, you're being placed as a caretaker in this person's life. You're, they need your support. You're their, you're their guardian and they love you. And they're going to be resurrected. This is your comeback, a rebirth, a renewal. You're all going back home. This is your rebirth, okay? I love Spirit, how it tells a story now. I tell you what now, Spirit, it's amazing. It's about your temple of dreams, your sacred dreams and prophecies, your dream journeys. Your soul got resurrected to come here to help others. That's what it is. Because you're like a flowery spirit. You, you got a revelation about this maturity inside you. This is what you're supposed to do is to help others. And I love you, spirit. And I hope it helped you guys out here. I hope it helped you. Now let me give you one more of this and see what it says. Here it says, the lady of the gift. This is generosity, receiving, withholding. Uh, so uh, you, you're open to giving and receiving and... And you let it flow. You're, you're somebody who lets it go with the flow. You know how to let go. This is natural movement. You know how to do this. Because, you know, you're the lady of the mirror. This is reflection and having non-judgment. Don't have judgment over others. Do not judge others in the way they do. Don't. Because you're hitting the mark. Your intentions are you needed to... to to detach you needed to detach from that person remember that person that you that you keep thinking of you know because they're thinking of you and you need to let go of that because you're going to get that shit into your life if you don't watch because you're you're meant to help somebody in your family take care of them to help them feel comfort and loved and, and they and you're 
partner, whoever this is, they, they love you because you're helping them be stronger to fight this, whatever it is. And I love you guys, and I hope this helps somebody out here because I know it will. There's a lot of us out here that needs help, and uh, especially if our bodies is weak. Uh, I pray that you all get the right kind of help and that I could just give you all a little bit of happiness today. And if I did, please hit like, you guys. And if you're doing, you watch all the way through, hit subscribe and hit the bell and hit hit all so you'll be notified every time I upload here on YouTube. And I love you guys, and I'll have a new story tomorrow for us. And I appreciate you guys. Peace.